Welcome back. Americans are having a really hard time sleeping. Tell me about it. In fact, sleep problems are estimated to be the number one health issue in the country. Lack of sleep has been linked to obesity, heart disease, and depression. So what is the solution, Michael? Oh, I don't know. Before we introduce the doctor here to get it help, how many people have trouble sleeping? Really? Oh my gosh, almost the entire audience. You sleepy people, listen to this. Dr. Michael Bruce is a sleep expert with uh, WebMD and author of the upcoming book, Good night. Good night. And not good night and good luck, but just good night. Doctor, good night. thank you so much for being here. Oh, All right, number one, what should we do about our bedroom to make it sleep worthy? Well, the truth of the matter is, is there's a lot of really cool new products that are out on the market that people should kind of check out. One of the things that a lot of people don't give a lot of credence to, but should, is their pillow. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things I like to tell people to do is look at your pillow. First thing first, hang it across your arm. If it folds all the way over, it's oh, probably man. time to get a new I pillow. I have four of those big long ones that do exactly that. They so, flop over like saddlebags. Exactly. So what do you do? <laughs> well, it's time to actually look for a new pillow at that point. There's a couple of really neat things on the market. Don't be fooled because there can be some things out there that you're not. Okay, I have an about. example here. Could you look at this and see if it's... Absolutely. See, this one here, this is called an ambient, and it has this spongy... Ambient. <laughs> I know him. It has this kind of spongy <laughs> material here, but then inside is this... Oh, there's a dollar. Yeah, Somebody I, lost uh, a tooth. I put it in there. Oh, you did? <laughs> I'll get it in just a second. What is... You, have you seen these kinds? Mm -hmm. Well, there's actually... Those are two separate types of pillows. Okay. The one that you have your hand in is called the personal choice. What's interesting about this pillow is, is you can take that spongy part, right. pull it out, and if you want a firmer support mm. or less firm support, you can insert it oh. so that you can individualize your pillow. Finally. The one to this. the left is called the ambient comfort pillow. I thought this was really fascinating. The fibers that are used are called holo fibers. And what's woven into the holo fibers are these little cells that actually take the energy, ambient light energy during the day and help increase oxygenation in the skin. Where do you get them? Um, you can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond, JCPenney, Kohl's, any of those places. You do have some amazing tips to sleep better. And what the first one is use the bedroom for sleep and romance only. So in other words, Absolutely. don't bring the television in. I have to say, I don't have my television in my bedroom. And uh, I, well, I don't get a good night's sleep. What am I talking about? Well, there's something else. <laughs> that one just blown it. Something else going on. I need to get rid of my widescreen then. Not in my bedroom. <laughs> no. And try to go to bed at the same time every night? That's, come on. Well, here's the thing is, if you can go to bed at the same time every night, that's great. But it's much more important to actually wake up at the same time every day, including the weekends. Okay. Uh, allow yourself one hour to unwind before bed. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You kind of just start to chill. Absolutely. Your body has to sort of get the feeling that, hey, it's time to go to bed now and sort of start rolling down your list of things to do. Maybe it's some menial chores or something like that. But you don't want to have a big discussion about the credit card right. bill right before you go to bed. Doctor, oh, yeah. we have uh, tips from people here. W yeah. What was your comment? Is it true if you're having trouble sleeping, you should watch CNN? <laughs> MSNBC. <laughs> Planted. Let's squeeze in some more here. Caffeine. You know what? I don't have a problem with caffeine, but caffeine just has to be used responsibly. And not before bedtime. Generally speaking, not before bedtime, but I've got people who can drink an espresso and knock right out. Really? So again, what you're going to see is individual. What? I like to eat before I go to bed. So is there a snack that'll put me to sleep? Well, actually, cheesecake, believe it or not. Um, well, wouldn't we all like to have that before we go to sleep? It's actually a reasonable source because it's got dairy products in it, so you're going to see tryptophan. It's high in carbohydrates, which, again, will potentially help you with falling asleep. And set your thermostat to, like, 68 to make it chilly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want it to Bundle be... Bundle up under the cover. That's what I do. You want it to be a little cooler because the body is going to sleep yeah. better in the cold yeah. than and it is in the heat. And keep your pets out of the bed. Yeah, for Come goodness on. sake. Yeah. Well, uh, what? <laughs> Don't I turn on say me. something. But Dr. Michael Bruce, thank you very much. Oh, Appreciate thanks for having it. Good me. job. Well, that's, uh, well, we've got a couple more minutes in the show. Should we do? So hang on, I'm going to go to commercial. There may be another mullet alert before we go away. Uh, <laughs> of course there would be. Why wouldn't there Come be? Come right back. Huh.